Police are still looking for a driver who was involved in a violent crash that injured five people, including three children, in Rogers Park. WGN's Julian Cruz is in Rogers Park with more. Good afternoon. This Rogers Park neighborhood shaken by last night's chain reaction collision. Police say that a hit and run driver flipped an SUV with children inside a 13 year old boy riding a bicycle on the sidewalk, miraculously avoiding serious injury. I saw the little boy got hit, but I thought he was okay because he jumped right up. Witnesses describing how the 13 year old boy sprung off his bicycle close to 6 30 last night in Rogers Park. All I heard was the boom and I heard people screaming. Residents startled by the impact near the corner of Marshfield and John Quill Terrace after the driver of a Volkswagen Passat came barreling out of the alley, police say, in this densely populated community. Brian Iverson says the driver was flying. At least 70 miles an hour was going too fast. The vehicle that was hit. Didn't even see it coming. The Passat smashing into a blue SUV carrying two adults and two children ages 7 and 10. The force of the impact flipping the SUV and its terrified occupants. Residents rushing to help before ambulances could arrive. They were coherent and they were very thankful that people were able to kick the front window out to get the kids out. We talked to the mother of that 13 year old who was riding on the bicycle. She was too distraught to give us details about how he is doing. In Rogers Park, Julian Cruz, WGN News.